Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Being receptive is powerful. Ladies, I'm going to tell you the best weapon that you can use to really reel in a man. That's, that's just simply being receptive. And yeah, look, let's just be real, because y'all know, I know people follow me a while, y'all hear Uncle Rom talking about the big breastuses and the butt dunk and, you know, pretty face and big old legs, big old legs, juicy legs, <laughs> even the feet and, you know, looking stylish. And all that's important, but I'm going to tell you what, just simply being receptive because that hits us on a deeper level. See, by our very nature, we want to we want to make the move. We want to approach. We want to take action. That goes down to a primal thing. Think about something. Think about where receptivity comes from. It comes from the very process of creating a human being. See, when your eggs come down the fallopian tube and embed itself in the uterus, it's just sitting there chilling. It's sitting there chilling. Well, okay, on a primal level, you want to draw that man's seed to you and everything. You want to draw that man's seed. Okay, cool. But how are you going to do it? Because he can't see the egg. He can't see the egg. It's microscopic. Nobody can really see it with a bare... Uh, with their bare, uh, with their uh, bare eyes. So it's like, okay, you got to draw this guy to you. So you got to behave in a way that draws attention from him, which is why I know y'all really like attention. And I know some guys don't like it, but I say, no, that's just a woman's nature. How else is she supposed to draw that man's seed towards her? And the seed, you know, you have sex with that man, the seed is traveling, doing the stuff. The egg's just sitting there. It's just putting out a little signal to the right eggs. Yeah, I mean the right to the right sperm. Oh, yeah, it's deep that way. Two different men can ejaculate in a woman, and she just wants the seed from one of them, and that's what the signal will go for. Right? And, you know, I get that. But that's the whole thing. That's, that's just a natural thing. Now, here's a problem with many women. Many women are defensive beyond what they need to be. Now, it's okay. It's okay, even advisable, to be defensive against, uh, I'll just say, less, less evolved males, ones that could hurt you and everything. But some, many often, sometimes women, y'all defensive against the very guys who have good intentions towards you. They're not going to harm you. And it could be for myriad reasons. You know, some of it is just some trauma from the past, unforeseen molestation or sexual assault. And, you know, got to work with the men on that one. But sometimes it's un, it, it goes beyond the point it needs to go. There are some occasions, some places you can be very receptive. And it's powerful. It's ultimately powerful. Like I give you, I give you a great example how powerful it is. Like you ever see those times where that fine dude, that fine dude, he look good. He got some sense. And as a bonus, he got money. Just to be clear, I ain't never say a man didn't need money. You still got to pay if you're talking long term. You still got to buy a house and all of that and just live and eat. Okay, he got everything. But he's with a less a woman that other women look at and say, well, she's not as attractive. What he see in her? Oh, she got a little bit extra weight. Oh, she's more plain face. Um, She was receptive. A lot of women, see, ladies, a lot of y'all be playing, y'all, y'all, y'all a little too rough. Like, one of the dumbest things I've seen, I'm going to use the word dumb. You interested in a guy, but you play a little hard to get to get him to chase you more. And part of it, ladies, I know that's from some insecurity that you had, but after a while, the guy's like, you know, I don't want to deal with this. <laughs> like, ladies, just it's just a reality. Most men can't read women that well. And even men who can read very women, women uh, to a great extent, there's only so far he can go. Sometimes the ladies be saying, well, I'm going to get this money. I'm going to get this. Well, he got to do this and stuff. Or, you know, you got the guys who, you know, they might be good guys, but you're being a little bit extra defensive and everything. 
you're not being receptive. I'm going to tell you what, that hurts you. That hurts you. Now, here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. When you're dealing with a man who is polite to you, and he's keeping himself together. He don't necessarily have to be supermodel of the world. And I, I know y'all only chase him so much anyway for serious relationships. Well, really, y'all don't really chase him for serious relationships. But, you know, he keep himself up. He's husband cute. The dude is husband cute. He's responsible and all of that. If you, like, really work on being receptive towards them, you will start drawing them. Now, here, here's a trick. Here's a trick. This is a little deep. If you keep those defenses up to knuckleheads, to uh, dusty dudes, to men who in their actions and how they carry themselves show they don't have any uh, good intentions towards you, that actually works better. Now, in, when you're doing all that, what it happens is you'll be automatically receptive to the good guys. And when I say automatically, to the point, okay, a guy approaches you, right? He's polite. He approaches you, he's polite, how he moves and everything, you read in his body language and you say, oh, okay, he all right. Yeah, he ain't usually what I would want, but hey, I'm going to sit back and see what he got to say. That's what you'll start drawing. And like I said, even if it don't work out, even if it don't work out, at least you were open for that guy or, you know, something. And it's not going to be perfect. Let's just be real. Just as an aside, a person could be a generally good person. You're just not right with them. I get that. I get that. Just like I tell men that they have a tribe, y'all have a tribe too, okay? So don't force anything. But just being receptive can draw that man in. Many women just lose out on a man because they actually defensive around a man they don't need to be because they don't know how to turn it off, and that's not good. Like I say, if the guy, as long as the guy is presentable, he, like he, he carries himself well. He speaks and behaves and around you like you got some sense. That's okay. You need to be receptive to those guys. Because even if number one and two who approach you like that, you know, it's just not a click there, you still got opportunities with three, four, and five and beyond. I want y'all to really think about that, but you got to be receptive. Defensiveness does not hurt, does not help you. Because I'm going to tell you something now. Some of the bad guys are still fight through the defensiveness, and some women get caught up and they feel like, oh, it's love or something. No, nah, he just wanted he, he just wanted the booty that badly. So I want y'all to really think about everything I said, okay? Work on being receptive to the right men, all right? So anyway, ladies, that's all I have for now. Peace and blessings.